After the global community was impacted by a severe pandemic, the importance of the healthcare and healthcare technology field is felt more than ever before. In recent years, healthcare has become an integral part of the business ecosystem in India. While healthcare itself is a very noble profession and majorly contributes to humanity, the successful healthcare entrepreneurs are making a valuable contribution to the economies around the world. Mary Circle present to you the top CEOs of the healthcare fraternity series, wherein we are featuring uh, some important and uh, healthcare CEOs who are the influential role models to share their views about the future of the healthcare industry. Hello, I'm Smita Kumar and you're watching MediCircle. Today we have with us Dr. Mini Bodhanwala. Dr. Mini Bodhanwala is the Chief Executive Officer with a massive experience of more than 35 years in the healthcare industry. She has received more than 200 national and international awards and um, in her career for the various categories in healthcare organizations. She has played an instrumental role in bringing a positive transformation at Vardia hospitals and shown compassion towards the underprivileged uh, women as well as children of our nation. With her dedication, excellence, innovation, and sustainable vision, Vardia hospitals being a charitable hospital are providing quality, safe, and affordable healthcare at par with the top hospitals to the underprivileged women and children. Dr. Mini played a major role in the relief and rehabilitation programs during the COVID-19 pandemic situation also. And she played initiatives like building a COVID wards, critical care, um, and a lot of other things like equipments and by providing hot meats and groceries and purse to different families who were affected by this pandemic. With her help, the state have been able to achieve high standards of healthcare in our region and cater to the people from all over the world. Hi, Dr. Vinny, welcome to MediCircle. So Dr. Vinny, I'm pleased to have you with us today. And how are you feeling? You're speaking on uh, MediCircle platform about Vardia uh, Children's Hospitals being the top CEO. So you have seen uh, different uh, versions of healthcare. Uh, and people have got different experience right from the day, starting days to now in 2021. So how has your experience been, Dr. Mini? Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to this program. And since tomorrow is Doctor's Day, I would like to wish all the doctors a very happy Doctor's Day, as well as all the other healthcare workers also. So I think my experience in healthcare, which is more than 35 years I have in it. And I mean, there have been challenges which I have come across in healthcare. And of course, uh, my forte is handling challenges. So when I joined this hospital as a CEO, I mean, I was a little stunned to see the condition of this hospital, which was on the verge of closure. So, I mean, it was difficult for me at that time. Like I had to literally strategize and get things in order to get this hospital moving and alive. And I think with the help of my teammates, because it is a public trust hospital where, you know, we have funds which are provided by the government and corporation, which is sometimes difficult to get going. Yes. Uh, Dr. Mini, as you have served so many years in the industry, so you might have also faced a lot of challenges in the healthcare industry. Some of the major challenges which are like affordability and availability, also accessibility. So what according to you is the solution to eradicate these issues? I'm sure you might have faced these kind of challenges in your uh, healthcare journey and you might have also worked towards the solution. So let us know what is your viewpoint on that. See, any healthcare should have a holistic approach, which involves, as you have very rightly said, affordability, accessibility, as well as availability. And it is mainly a part of the government program, which should be initiated with a proper policy in place to have the three things included. The government should also focus on artificial intelligence and IT. You know, but these days of pandemic, that is what is going to take the healthcare and also, you know, the people who are there coming as patients and customers to move forward. So as I see, you know, a stronger approach by the government as well as the private sectors also. A private sector is not affordable for every patient, 
But if there are certain policies which are incorporated, which makes the private sector equally affordable, as well as I would say the government sector also, in spite of having, you know, rates which are at a lower compromise rates, but the quality of services should be better than a corporate. And I'm happy to say at Wadia Hospitals, we've been able to achieve a quality service at affordable, accessible uh, healthcare. True. So this is where we come around at Wadia Healthcare. So one question related to this Wadia Hospital, as we have been serving here for so long, and you have seen a lot of positive transformations. And being a charitable trust hospital, still it's maintaining its quality and it's serving the women and children with the best of qualities. So uh, tell us more about uh, the services that has been offered and how you think that it is really going to add value to people's life, not over, not only from Mumbai, but from all parts of India. Uh, I'm privileged to be the CEO of this two Wadia hospitals, which is a mother and child. I think it is a rare concept, which was in 1926 got around. And today, as we call it, it's a, uh, you know, the teach, it's a temple of learning for the pediatricians all over India. It is also a referral center for, my, you know, maternity as well as the pediatrics. When I joined this hospital, it was only around, you could say, 300 beds in the maternity and 300 beds in the children's sector. And we had only a 19 bedded uh, NICU, which was on the verge of closure. And we lacked equipments, we lacked infrastructure, we lacked manpower. And it was difficult to get all three because uh, today what we have is 155 bedded NIC only in the pediatric hospital, which is uh, Asia's and one of the you know, best ones in the world. Yes. So you can imagine when you go from a 19 bedded NICU, yes. which is the heart of any pediatric hospital, to a 155 bed, what is the work the team has put in to get this along with, you know, the other critical care units, which we have also started, that is the cardiac, uh, neurology, nephrology, transplant. So totally, if we see in the children's hospital, we have more than 250 critical beds, which is approximately 50% of the beds, which no other hospital in India at a single destination offers. Yes, that's really and the best part of this is the affordability and the accessibility. Yes, even if there is no space, we try to make space, we try to stabilize a patient. So that is the credibility of these institutes. True, true, very true. And I hope uh, the standards are maintained and there are a lot of, lot of patients who are actually deprived of good healthcare services due to cost factors. And I think Vadia is giving a very good example by treating patients in the most affordable ranges. Uh, Dr. Mini, uh, adding one last question to our discussion today, uh, like India's total healthcare spending is around 3.6% of the total GDP, which is very less compared to other, other developed countries. So do you think it's high time India needs a generous amount of spending in the healthcare sector? See, India has always been lagging in healthcare. And we have seen this during the COVID situation, which has come up. I think a normal country would spend around six to eight percent, but yes, India is very much behind. And the spends which are there should be elevated on the same, as well as we have to see that, you know, we give a preventive health care. That is very important. If the preventive health care is there, then even if you have a lower spend, it does not matter. But we are not having the preventive health care at all. And that includes the infrastructure, equipments, as well as the manpower. So I think that is something which the government has to work on, as well as it's not just the government. I think all the healthcare institutions in the nation should come together as one. It should not be whether it is private, government, charitable all come together and work towards the same goal, which is needed, I think. Very much, very much true. So thank you so much, Dr. Meni. We are pleased to have you with us at our MediCircle platform today. Uh, we definitely hope that we have more such organizations like the Varias and also leaders like you who are leading such organizations and are able to make not just healthcare, but good healthcare affordable, accessible and available 
to approximately all kinds of uh, people, irrespective of the economic strata. So that, that's really great to know. And uh, cheers to uh, your hard work, and we wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Thank you once again for joining. Thank you.